Hooray for Hollywood. All the gin joints and all the towns and all the world. She had to walk into my... Oh, hello there. I'm Stan the Movie Man, and this is my weekly movie review. This week I went to see The Forest. It stars Natalie Dormer, Taylor Kinney, uh, Yoshi Ozawa, uh, Ian Mackin, and more. It is the story of Sarah, played by Natalie Dormer. She is concerned about her twin sister, uh, identical twin sister, Jess, who is in Japan um, teaching youngsters English. Um, she has taken her, her class on a field trip to a, a national forest at the base of Mount Fuji. The problem is this particular forest is known as a place where people go to commit suicide. Uh, and uh, Jess has disappeared into this forest. Uh, she decides that she's going to fly over and look for Jess because she uh, and her sister share some sort of bond uh, because uh, they always seem to know when the other one is in trouble. While she's in Japan, she meets Aiden, a guy played by Taylor Kinney, who is a travel writer based in Australia, but he's an American. And he wants to write a story about Sarah and Jess and Sarah's search for Jess in this forest. Uh, and they are guided in the forest by Michi, played by Yukiyoshi Ozawa, who uh, is kind of a park ranger in this uh, particular national forest. He also does the suicide walks, looking for people who have um, gone out to either kill themselves or are still contemplating it um, as they sit in the forest. Uh, and he warns Sarah that the forest is alive. It knows what you're afraid of. It knows if you're sad. And it will use those things against you. Sarah believes it's all, you know, just mumbo-jumbo. Turns out, it's not. The forest is not terribly scary. That's its first biggest problem. There are a few, you know, things that'll make you jump back in your seat a little bit, but not really uh, um, a scare fest. Also, various plot elements get thrown in that seem like they were sitting around out in the forest going, well, we need to shoot some stuff. What do we want to do? Oh, let's try this and throw that out there as well. Um, yeah, it just doesn't quite hold together. Um, it, it seems like they weren't entirely sure what they were going to shoot when they got there and kind of made it up as the day went along. Uh, it just feels sort of slapdash. Um, and uh, the the character turns didn't feel real to me either. It's just not a very good movie. I'm giving The Forest two stars. Go to stayinthemovieman.com to read my complete review. You can also follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan and send emails to me, stayinthemovieman at comcast.net. Till next time, toodles.